Hey, this is Tim, Southwest Ohio Bees. Uh, it is late February. It is in the 70s out here. Unbelievable. I'm going to get my first peek inside the hives today. What I'm expecting to find is uh, some brood in those uh, boxes. I do have one dead out. I'm a little disappointed. I had bragged about a third year queen and I believe that's probably what happened. I did go through the box yesterday. No sign of a uh, Varroa, no sign of the aftermath of Varroa at all in that box. So I don't believe that was the case. They were, they were well treated. Uh, and nearly an entire box of store left in that, uh, in that hive. So a little disappointed, but again, it was an old queen. Uh, she appeared to die right after the big uh, winter storm we had. Uh, the cold spell so uh, di big disappointed but rest of the highs we're gonna get into today if they need additional honey I'll put it in there but what I'm doing today is I'm going to be putting in uh, pollen patties now these are global patties I've uh, cut in two here and they are 15% uh, real pollen in these and not only is there 15% pollen, but they are also Apis Biologics uh, activator in these pollen patties. Now what that does, that gives them all the chemicals uh, from real floral, uh, or simulates the chemicals from real floral pollen is what it gives them. So it gives the bees the best chance possible. Now I want to give a, a little difference here. That is pollen. Also going to be checking my fondant. They're two do totally different things. Whether you're using sugar bricks or fondant, you still need to feed. It's still early in the year and they're still going to need feed. This beautiful weather here, although they're bringing in pollen right now, um, there's not a lot of nectar going out. So they do need to feed. The pollen, what they do with the pollen is they take and make that into bee bread. And then the nurse bees will then take and secrete that into royal jelly for the larvae. So when you're trying to make new brood, that's where they need the pollen patties. They need the pollen. That's what they do with the pollen. For the adult bees, they still need food. And they need lots of food. So make sure you still have fondant, sugar patties, uh, honey, whatever it is on the hives. Uh, if you're in a warmer climate, uh, sugar water that's probably start you're probably starting to use that in some climates now uh, make sure they have plenty of that because it just isn't it isn't out there in the environment yet for them so they do need that uh, as far as the pollen yes they're bringing in pollen right now so why do they need pollen patties well not every day is this beautiful uh, we have a lot of rainy and cold days still uh, it's up and down this time of year so on those cold days you want those that brood to still have that nutrition and the the most more nutrition you can give that new brood the healthy and stronger that hive is going to be so let's take a look inside these hives uh throw on some pollen patties and uh see what we have inside them
what I'm doing, I'm taking a medium frame out of the other box that has a lot of brood on it. Because this box says I'm trying to even it out a little bit. And uh, what I'm going to do, right in between this brood right here, I'm going to put this medium in this deep. And what they'll do is they'll build drone down here. And then I can cut that off and throw that away. That'll help control my varroa mite during the spring season here. And I'm giving them a little bit more brood here. This is uh, my weakest hive here. Let me clean some of this off. And then put their half a pound of pollen patty. Again, they they had eat you know all that pollen patty I had on there. In fact, let me open that up. There you go. That'll do them just fine. That frame's got some pollen on it. I may leave that one in there for them. And I've got frames that are falling apart. I have got to repair this spring. This one out here and get this broken one out. It's got a little bit of honey and a lot of pollen on it. Okay put back together over here on my largest hive up here on this super I had on top they've got bee bread a bit of nectar up top here pollen so I've removed the brood the reason I've done that is we've got some cold days ahead of us I don't want them having brood in two different chambers, in two different boxes, because if they have to cluster again, it is only the first of March. They would have a tough time trying to keep uh, everything warm. Either they have to uh, abandon one set of brood, or they try to protect both sets of brood and the hive dies because there's just not a big enough cluster to stay warm. So in this case, I've removed that uh, brood from here, placed them in the bottom box where they can be used because they've got a lot of bees in this bottom box. And they will be fine now. They have got pollen patty down below, half a pound, which they devastated in just uh, a week. So I'll come back, I guess now in another week, and uh, feed them again. Or feed the nurse bees and the new bees. Okay, we've checked the uh, pollen patties with the Apis Biologics uh, in them uh, twice now. They devoured it, uh, I guess it was six days ago, uh, 70 both days. Uh, this is unbelievable for this time of year. This is 1st of March. But the bees are doing good. They're uh, in the last week, six days, there's probably twice as much brood as there was uh, six days ago. Um, why am I feeding pollen patty this early in the season up here in Ohio? Uh, I can see the southern states. The, this here, early in Ohio, 
My hives aren't as strong as I had hoped, and uh, part of that is because of the experiments I did last summer. Uh, that, 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 that's on me, um, is why my hives aren't as strong as I had hoped. Uh, they're, they're not bad, but they're not as uh, robust as I had hoped. So I'm trying to build them up. I have got a bunch of queens coming beginning of April. And so the timing for this should be just perfect. Uh, again, this is the first of, uh, what is it? First, first of March today. So got a lot of brood in there. Give them a month here. These should be hatching out late March here, mid, mid late March. So probably about early April, about the time my queens get here, my timing should be about right. They should get be getting into swarm uh, mode about that time uh, with the bees. Um, so that's why I'm putting pollen patties on there to try to build them up as uh, most as uh, as much as possible uh, for that point, so I can uh, do my splits at that point. That's why I'm putting the pollen patties with the apis on there, which really gets them going. So. That's uh, all I have for today. This is Tim, uh, Southwest Isle Bees. Any comments you have, uh, leave them below. Uh, don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button. Until the next video, you have a fantastic day.